Hello folks, this is the third time I'm trying to make this video. Interesting morning, as I was just wrapping up talking, um, the power just blipped out. And then when it came back, the uh, video that I had made was corrupted, or else I'd have... Um... So I'm going to do this again, and it's like, it's interesting, because I'm going to make a comment about Trump, and about his guilt, and about politics. And I know that that can trigger some people and some people won't like it. And I don't care. This is my channel, my life, and this is what I want to say. So I have to encapsulate what a couple things that I really want to say. First off, the justice system is imperfect, but it's what we have to work with. And to think that one person thinks that they're so important that they can be above the law and do whatever they want is unconscionable. The court did their job and found the, the jury, the prosecutors, they did their job. They had proof. They have proof of his guilt of the crimes um, that were detailed. And yet we're dealing with the madness of the ultra-right and Trump himself, who is a pathological liar just lying and lying, but they have no, they, they don't produce any proof. Trump had the opportunity to take the stand, but he had to speak under oath. He didn't do it. Well, it's pretty obvious why, because he would, he would, he wanted to get up there and pontificate and bullshit and lie, do anything but tell the truth. It's so sad that we're at this point in our history that rich, silver spooned, and I'm going to say it too, white, because a black person could never get in this position, we'd be dead if we tried to do what Donald Trump did. It's a shame that we're at this point in history because of this madness. It's madness. And to think that we have members of Congress with no proof of Donald Trump's innocence, we have the opposite, opposite. And they're defending him. This is, this is hurtful for the country, for the nation, for the world. You know, it's like Donald Trump and his followers say it's a kangaroo court. Well, why is it a kangaroo court? Can you explain that? All they do is parrot these, these phrases. It's a witch hunt. Why is it a witch hunt? Can you explain? No one ever, they never explain themselves. They don't have any facts. It's, it, it's ridiculous, you know, and so the guilt, the guilty counts are important. What happens next is anybody's guess because I doubt that he'll spend any time in jail. He ought to. We need, really, the nation needs that for healing. You know, corrupt po politics is just so out of control. And uh, I've been watching this, and I'm going to continue watching it because it's far from over. But I'm glad that the jury did their job without prejudice. They looked at the facts. It wasn't about whether or not Michael Cohen is a liar. He's... Completely, and that's all the whole other thing about the Republicans and, and Donald Trump. He'll never directly address what he's been convicted of. He won't talk about the actual facts of of any of the incidences. And people are so stupid that they don't see that. It's like, well, come on, man. You know, if you are so clean that you should be able to represent factually and intelligently and, and um, maturely, which you never do. He never does. And none of his followers do. All in the pursuit of power. This is very, very dangerous, wrong, hurtful. It's so sad. So 
that's what I really want to say today. That's what's on my mind. I'm watching this because it's going to be very interesting how this plays out. It's really sad to see that such a uncouth, mentally ill person is being treated like, like some kind of deity. And he's worthless. He hasn't done anything. He talks about, I'm the only, I'm your only chance. Well, why? You never explain what you're going to do. You never do. How are people so stupid to follow this man? He never explains anything. He never, he doesn't have a clue. He doesn't have a plan. That's why I bring up racism, because that's part of it. It's racist. He's racist. And stupid. Yeah, he's stupid. People say, well, he's a smart businessman. You can be clever. Clever is not smart. Let me keep this short. I have a, I have a, a, a session with Hank Red today. We'll see if we get anything recorded. He needs some help with this computer, but... Something that got played yesterday, The Mix by Kraftwerk. I love this album. I love Kraftwerk. I love these remixes. I love them when they came out. They still sound good. Of these represses that were done about four years ago, this one is the most pleasing to me. Some of those other remix mastered um, Kraftwerk albums, um, I prefer um, earlier pressings. They seem kind of muted to me. This one is good. Pardon me, folks. Yep. 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 I got it together. I love craft work. That's one of the things that I played yesterday. Mainly what I did yesterday, besides housework, is um, going through cassettes that I pulled out of my, off my closet. A lot of my old radio shows are on these cassettes. They're kind of embarrassing to listen to because it's I'm really young and I can hear how I didn't really have my format together, you know. <laughs> Some of what I say is kind of goofy. But that's what I mostly did yesterday. But one other thing I played to keep music, because music is what we share. I played this Burn You Up, Burn You Down by Peter Gabriel. A sing single from the album Up with a B-side on here that I had never listened to before that I can remember. A remix of Darkness. A 14 remix, 14 minute remix of Darkness. It's really good. It's really good. So I'm going to keep this short because the main thing I'm sharing is my thoughts about what's happening. And I'll just delete anyone who comes over and screams abusive, hateful, ignorant things. The facts have spoken. Donald Trump was caught trying to cover up to fool the American people, which is partly how he got into the presidency and why we're dealing with this bullshit. He doesn't deserve it. And there's so many things I can say, you know, it's like, once again, if he's so innocent, why didn't he take the stand? Where's his proof of innocence? Oh, and I had something else I wanted to say, and it just slipped my mind. It's about the Christian nationalists, you know. It's like, what would Jesus do? He sure wouldn't do anything that Trump is doing. Nothing. Man, I had another one I wanted to share. It's, you know, it's just the bottom, it's just the, the common sense has left. Politics has been gone for a long time. It's really, un, it's wrong, you know, and this division, you know, it's so unhealthy and it just goes on. People come to this, we need to come to our senses. An authoritarian figure is not the answer. The justice system is flawed, but it's all we've got. We've got to work with that. Okay. Um, people like Donald Trump need to be called out. We need decent, intelligent, mature adults to stand up and speak out and, and ask for 
people to go beyond parroting. It's not enough for you to say, it's a witch hunt. Why is it a witch hunt? Can you explain what you're talking about? He, you're, you're a traitor. A traitor? What are you talking about? A traitor to, to what? Explain yourself. Because the facts don't support your foolishness. Man, there's another one. Oh, and it's just like, frustrates me. Okay, I'll just stop here. I'll probably, well, I'm watching this stuff, so you'll hear again. If you want to come over and be abusive, I'm just going to delete you. I have said nothing abusive. I've given my opinion, okay? And that's what's messed up about this. It's that, you know, Trump and his people are so uncouth and immature and wrong wrong okay I'm done okay where's my where's my mouse I've been having this I guess I need to get a new mouse have a good weekend